buddies welcome back to codred automotive this is akash signing in i'm really excited today to introduce you all the most iconic and the legendary car out there which ruled the indian market from 2006 to 2013 and probably this was the car uh, which came up with the digital meter i guess you guys guess the name yes let's kick start the video <laughs> Well guys this is a car I have for the review today the 8 gen Honda Civic 2007 model S variant the mid variant fans love the way the car look the sportier design aerodynamic the car is low that being said which made the enthusiast elated start off with the front profile of the car the hood is slick kind of broad um broad grill on the integrated in the center this is the aftermarket module clear vision headlamps individually for i beam and the low beam um fog lamp air vent in the center the windscreen is humongous opposite wipers this is pretty much it let's jump on to the side profile of the car the major upgrade that's done to the car is the wheel this is from the brand called Voson and the wheel size is 225 45 R17 The stance of the car has completely changed thanks to the concave wheels. This is so very elegant. I love the wheels, and uh, the length of the car is four five four five mm, and ground clearance is one seventy mm. Let's check out the rear profile of the car, guys. Large windshield with defoggers, add-on spoiler. This actually comes to the V variant. Aftermarket logo, GTR inspired tail lamp. Don't mock me for this. i'm just saying it's been inspired by you know gtr that's what i feel dual barrel exhaust Let's check out the interior of the car starting off with the rear seat the seat is of a decent size three members can fit in but with difficulties two members can comfortably travel the support is decent enough grab rails to hold on cabin lights on the either side and in the center too massive handrest with audio controls and address for the rear passenger the center one one who sits in the center doesn't have it so no address there jump into the front and see what's there there is a huge fan base when it comes to civic's cockpit starting off with the steering on uh, this is tilt and telescopic rpm gauge and digital speedometer with fuel gauge and the temperature gauge when it comes to the s variant there are two airbags one for the pilot and the other one for the co passenger power window controls right here all four windows are power windows and uh this is to lock and unlock the power window this is to lock and unlock the door uh this is for the folding and unfolding the ovms this is to adjust the ovms this is pretty much it when it comes to the control side dashboard is huge it feels like a king size cot to me um uh, starting off with the ac control this is completely automatic and storage space there are lot many storage space starting from here this is the tiny one and this is a decent one this is kind of decent again and this is something extraordinary and the glove box is also of a decent size so the ac this is super powerful chills the cabin within no time aftermarket infotainment system cabin light over here sun visors with mirror on the both sides yes this is broken yeah let me be very careful there Let me just pop the hood and show what's underneath. Comes to the engine specification, this beast is powered by 1.8 liter naturally aspirated IV Tech engine, inline four with 16 valves, each cylinder with four valves. That's two intake and two exhaust valve. Engine produces about 132 bhp at 6,300 rpm and 171 newton meter torque at 4,300 rpm. This engine was mated with both automatic and manual transmission. The automatic uh, came with paddle shifters too. 
let's see how it is to drive behind the wheel starting off with the steering uh, it feels connected for sure and on the low speed uh, it's kind of heavy and on the high speed it's it's super smooth the suspension setup is soft and i could really feel it uh, the car with this you know a low should have this kind of a suspension otherwise there would be a miss with the aerodynamics the chassis is planted and it has a great grip when it comes to the cornering this is a free raving engine and this engine raves all the way to 7000 rpm the refinement level is amazing also the reliability since this is honda gonna launch in first gear the brakes are sure footed since these are powered by all four disc brakes again the first gear pull the car does closely about 61 first gear This engine has a great potential when it comes to the tuning be it a stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 obviously uh, it's a matter of money but if we can spend on it it surely gives a kick in the pants feel when it comes to the aesthetics i would really love to upgrade it to mugen uh, body kit uh, that that's a perfect body kit according to me even the type part does suit really well if you need a sportier sound then i would really suggest you to go with a full system exhaust or a cat back full system exhaust is a kind of a pain when it comes to you know uh, when it comes to the cops uh, but cat back also really you know uh, gives the sports sound this is second gear pull the engine is always active it doesn't relaxes at any time if you push hard on the throttle it quickly raises up and you know turns out to the beast all together i have to be very careful here since the car is slow and the roads are not really good when it came to india uh, this car happened to be detuned uh, actually i elsewhere it was supposed to be about 140 horsepower but when it came to india it was detuned to 130 or 130 to 131 uh so this is pretty much it about honda civic i feel you guys like the video and let me know in the comments what car should i review next thanks for your support guys for my recent video that's for accent um uh, i got a 13k views on it thanks a lot for one who have subscribed the channel it means a lot to me time to wrap this video up uh, see you in the next video take care guys